Welcome to St James's Church Southam for our online Remembrance Sunday service. Reverend Vicky here and it is my pleasure and my privilege to be able to lead you today through this very important and poignant time of year. Let us begin with some words from scripture. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Hope returns when I remember this one thing. The Lord's unfailing love and mercy still continue, fresh as the morning, as sure as the sunrise. The Lord is all I have, and so I put my hope in him. What does the Lord require of you but to act justly, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Today we remember in the presence of God. We remember our own failings, but we trust in God to help us. We shall commit ourselves to work for reconciliation between the nations of the world, so that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We shall also remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. We shall pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We ask for God's help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. May we begin with a prayer. Dear God, before whom generations rise and fall, have mercy on human foolishness and failure. When greed, fear and jealousy prevail, over love and understanding. Forgive those sins that lead to war. Almighty God, today we remember. We remember the courage of men and women who resisted evil and stood for justice. We remember those who stand today and we ask you watch over them. Help us to value the freedom won for us. Help us to use it wisely and gratefully and pass it on to generations to come as a legacy of peace and hope. In the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. As we lead into our act of remembrance, together we're going to sing Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Endless is the victory, thou, O death, hast won.
If you are able, please stand for our act of remembrance. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humankind. Men of Southam who died in World War I, Harry Askew, William Abbott, Arthur Adams, George Adams, William Amos, Arthur Baldwin, Charles Baldwin, Frederick Baldwin, Harry Baldwin, Harry Bicknell, Frank Blellock, William Blellock, William Booth, William Brain, George Bull, John Bull, Vic Burnell, William Burnell, John Calcutt. Joseph Carter, Leonard Carter, Alfred Chambers, John Checkley, William Collier, Frederick Constable, Frederick Court, Ernest Davenport, William Davidson, Alfred Davenport, Arthur Davenport, Arthur Duckett, John Duckett, Albert Fennell, Joseph Fennell, Harry Flowers, Percy Flowers, William Garrett, David Gilmore, Henry Glenn. William Gold, Ralph Griffin, William Hancock, Fran Frank Hancock, Alan Harrison, David Hart, Frederick Hartley, Edward Hinks, Henry Hodges, Ernest Hollis, Sidney Hughes, John King, Alexander Latte, Bernard Lee, Thomas Masters, Henry Morby, Albert Morgan, Ernest Owen, Horace Parkinson, Hubert Pearson. William Pitton, Alfred Pratt, Arthur Pratt, Herbert Randall, Arthur Rathbone, Thomas Rockingham, William Seckington, Edward Shearsby, George Shorthouse, William Smith, Arthur Turner, Edward Turner, Edwin Wellings, Thomas Wobble. Men from Southam who died in World War II. George Askew, Ronald Askew, Herbert Cooper, Cyril Duckett, Edward Goodhead, Jack Goodhead, Peter Shergold, Charles Graves, Horace Haynes, Tom Porteous, William Saunders, Wilfred Usher, Arthur Williams, and those who've died in recent conflicts, J.J. Doherty. We also remember the crews of two Wellington bombers, one which crashed close to the Fox and Hen at Basket Heath, 24th of July 1941, including Sergeants Henry Albert Bell and John Noel Snowden, and another on Ladbroke Hill on the 30th of January 1944. And we remember Flight Lieutenant John Eggings from the Red Arrows. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Our reading today is taken from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Imitating Christ's humility. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born of human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him, and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I've prepared this year's remembrance service, I've been reflecting on the sacrifice of the armed forces community from the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in the World Wars but also for all who serve in recent conflict and in volatile situations. I've also reflected on those who, as our Bible passage says, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than themselves. Reflecting on those who have a heart for others, and serve others in all sorts of ways. In the recent Southam Advertiser article, I wrote about being reminded of Jesus serving his disciples by washing their feet, and his ultimate sacrifice of serving by giving his life upon the cross. In another part of the Bible, it says... Whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever desires to be first in the group must be the slave of all. Humbly and lovingly serving one another is a sign of greatness in the eyes of God. It's not about serving another for any type of recognition or about serving another grudgingly. Jesus emphasises that our service to others should come solely out of love for others and to serve others with humility. Even though the disciples had lived with Jesus for three years, listening to all his teachings and watching as he compassionately responded to those in need, 
they were still shocked by Jesus. In this simple act, doing the work of a servant by washing their dirty feet. It was contrary to all social conventions and Peter was particularly indignant that Jesus didn't lower himself to this. But Jesus teaches that he has come to serve, not to be served. Truly serving others in a Christ-like manner is about sincerely caring about others and treating all people, but especially the most marginalised of society, with dignity and respect. It's about serving others, not self. I don't want to imagine how our world would be today without our armed forces, the Commonwealth and our emergency services serving us day in and day out. That's why today is so important to take time to remember the service and sacrifice of all those that have defended our freedoms and protected our way of life. It's important to remember the families of each person who has served or is currently serving and the sacrifice that they may make every day in the service of others, some making the ultimate sacrifice. We will remember them. God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home under the shadow. Still may we dwell secure. Sufficient is thine arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting thou art God, to endless years the same, O oh God our help in ages past. Our hope for years to come Be thou my guide While life shall last And our eternal home Following the bombing of the medieval Coventry Cathedral in 1940, Provost Howard had the words, Father, forgive, inscribed on the wall behind the altar of the ruined building. These words are used as the response in the Coventry Litany of Reconciliation, which is prayed throughout the world by the community of the Cross of Nails. So please respond with Father, forgive. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The hatred which divides nation 
from nation, race from race, class from class. Father, forgive. The covetous desires of people and nations to possess what is not their own. Father, forgive. The greed which exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, forgive. Our envy of the welfare and happiness of others. Father, forgive. Our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the refugee. Father, forgive. The lust which dishonours the bodies of men, women and children. Father, forgive. The pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Father, forgive. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God, our heavenly King, you made each one of us to be like you and blessed us with the rich and fruitful earth. You gave humanity responsibility for the good ordering and well-being of the world. Inspire us to serve you and one another for a world of peace and justice where all may experience the power of your love. A prayer for those afflicted by war. Lord Jesus, you knew the loneliness of fear. May you hold in your hand those who fear for their lives, those who live in places of violence and conflict. Help us to bring comfort to the oppressed and compassion to those who suffer, so that they may hear the song of love, which triumphs over evil. A prayer for forgiveness. Lord God, we come to you in sorrow and sadness. Forgive us for the part we play in a world which is greedy for land, resources and possessions. Forgive us when we fail to reach out with friendship and acceptance. Forgive us when we long for status and fail to put the needs of others first. Forgive our support of might instead of right, aggression instead of reconciliation. Forgive us when we take the easy way out instead of valiantly standing for truth and justice. And a prayer for peace. White feathers were given to those who did not volunteer. They were an accusation of cowardice. Lord, we acknowledge this harsh treatment. But white feathers remind us too, Lord, of doves, a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you hovered over the world as order came from chaos. May you bring order to the chaos of this world. Holy Spirit, giver of life and love, help us to build your church and your world with the gifts of gentleness, self-control, love, joy and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
And together let's say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we lead into our act of commitment, together we'll sing. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike, no cares could destroy. Be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Let us commit ourselves to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God our Father, we commit ourselves to serve you 
and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the king, the commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you all and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>